In the spirit of Halloween, I'm carving a pumpkin. Welcome back, or welcome if you're new here. My name is Zaya, and in today's video, you saw the title, I'm gonna be carving Trisha Paytas's face into a pumpkin. I actually had the idea for this video like a couple nights ago, and I was like, there's no way I'm gonna do it. And then so I tried to do it on like a small pumpkin as a tester, and it failed so bad. That pumpkin's sitting in my compost pile now. So I went out, I bought this huge pumpkin, and we're gonna try it again. So I took this picture of Trisha Paytas, which is my all-time favorite reaction image of such a mood for my life. I took it, I pasted it into Procreate on my iPad, and I basically traced over it to create a stencil. I printed it out, made it fit on the pumpkin, and began poking holes in it to where I can transfer the design onto the pumpkin. You could also use contact paper for this, but I don't have any, and I'm not trying to go out again. I'm just gonna keep going with the poking holes because I feel like it's gonna take a really long Long time. I'm only about a quarter of the way done, so don't worry, you didn't miss that much. I wanted to sit down and carve a pumpkin in general. I feel like this October hasn't been that spooky, aside from the fact that I'm literally being haunted. I was thinking, I want to sit down and carve a pumpkin, and then I was like, what can I carve on a pumpkin? I don't know if I'm just like full of myself, but I generally consider myself a pumpkin carving god. I'm really good at it. Weird flex, but okay. So then I was like, oh my god, I want to do it on like one of my favorite YouTubers, and then obviously the content that I probably watch the most on YouTube is Trisha Paytas mukbangs. The goal of this pumpkin is definitely to get on my front porch. Um, my last one was very disappointing and ended up in my compost pile and I wouldn't want that to happen again. Also because pumpkins are so expensive, this was $8. So if you ever want to know which houses to like rob, um, just look for the ones with like 15 pumpkins on the front porch because you know those people got some coin. I'm just kidding. Don't rob houses. That's really bad. Oh my god. Okay, so a little update on my ghost that's haunting me. The last night I was home all by myself and I'm not kidding, I heard footsteps in my house. So yeah, I don't even know what to do at this point. Honestly, it's like the only thing that I have going for me right now. That sounded really bad. Oh my gosh, my hand is starting to get really tired, but I gotta keep going. I have pumpkin seeds baking in the oven right now. So yeah, it's really getting in the fall spirit, honestly. Now I'll have a pumpkin for my porch, or I'll have another pumpkin for my compost pile. My arm is tired. I'm about halfway done with the hair, which I feel like is going to be the hardest part. If this works, honestly, catch me on Pumpkin Masters next year because, um... I'm a pumpkin carving god. They keep breaking! It doesn't matter. Toothpicks are biodegradable. My arm is tired. I wanted to film this video a lot earlier and literally when I started, like my neighbor literally pressure washed their driveway for probably like three hours. It was so annoying. Aren't we in a drought? Just stop. I'm being very chatty today, which means this video is going to be like 80 years long. I'm very sorry. My arm is so tired. Like what is this? Oh my god! I feel like I'm gonna give myself carpal tunnel from this. I would definitely recommend using contact paper. This ain't it. God! I have it like folded like over on itself like triple times and whoo that hurts so bad to poke through. Oh my god. Almost done, almost done, almost done. Oh my god. Almost done. I think that we're good. I'm not seeing anything that I didn't do, but I think that we can start taking this off. Oh my God. What? This looks so good. I'm kind of impressed with myself. What? That looks so good. Right. So I have my carving tools and these are like actual wood carving tools. So they're very sharp. So hopefully I don't cut myself, but yeah, they make carving pumpkins like an absolute breeze. I'm a pumpkin carving God. So of course I would have something like this. So the way that I want this to work is I don't want to carve all the way through it because like I don't have time for that, you know? But I want it to be enough to where it shows through. We'll see in the end if I'm able to do it. Also, when I say I'm a pumpkin carving god, um, I'm totally lying. I've only carved like one good pumpkin in my entire life. This could be number two. Fingers crossed, honestly. Does this count as art? I feel like it does. In my high school art classes for one of our projects, we just carved pumpkins. So I don't know. I think this classifies as art. Maybe I could try a different one. That doesn't look that great. I don't think you guys have ever seen a pumpkin carved this beautifully. Oh my God. 
Every time I do these kind of videos, I like think that I'm doing everything right and then when I'm actually editing, I'm like, oh my god, kill me. So I really think that I'm doing everything right here. Hopefully I don't go to edit this and realize that, oh my god, I look stupid. Is this a tutorial? Is anybody looking at how to do this? Did anybody like Google how to carve Trisha Paytas into a pumpkin and like my video come up, you know? Like that's what I call searchable content right there. I'm going to shut up so I can time lapse this. Oh no, 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 no. I took out a little too much eyebrow. It's fine, we'll make it work. I think I poked my holes a little bit too deep. I'm very upset about the eyebrow, but I don't know what to do. Should I paint it back orange? Shoot. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. It doesn't look that bad. So it kind of looks like dreads. You know, I feel like it's difficult to carve hair into a pumpkin. If you don't know, which you probably don't because I don't have, you know, good camera angles or anything like that. I'm on the facial features right now. Yeah, so I'm on the last parts of this, which is exciting because then I'll get to see if this is porch worthy or if it's gonna end up in the compost pile. I think I might have spoke a little bit too soon when I said I was a pumpkin carving god. I don't think this is turning out terrible, but definitely not like how I wanted it to. Maybe we won't call this Trisha Paytas. It's not not looking that great. It's definitely not like the best. It's not the worst. But it's definitely not too great. I don't even know if the nose is gonna show up, honestly. It better. I'm probably gonna have to go in and thin the insides like so much to get this to actually like show up. So that will be fun. I think that because I'm working on a pumpkin, there's only so much I can do, but now we're moving into the last part, which is the eyes, which I am terrified for because I feel like the eyes really are going to make or break it. And especially with like the whole eyebrow situation over here, I'm not feeling too confident. I've actually grown my own pumpkin once before. Like when I was like 12, like I actually grew like a legit pumpkin. I'll try and find a picture of it. I can't believe I peaked when I was 12. Oh no, oh god. Um. Hmm. Okay, um, I'm gonna apologize now. This doesn't look that great. Definitely the drawing looks a lot better than the actual execution. All right, let's see if this close. Oh my god, okay. Oh my god. Queen of doing this. It doesn't look the best. Well, if you stand far enough back, it looks like the picture. I am so sorry. This looks so bad. What am I even thinking? So here is my Trisha Paytas pumpkin. It's not the best. I know I said it was a pumpkin carving god, but maybe I overestimated my own abilities a little bit. In terms of if this is worthy enough to go on the porch, I think so. It definitely isn't good enough to go on the porch. I think if I were to put like a little reference image, like maybe coming out of it, I think that would be funny, you know, because if anybody like knows the meme, it, they'd be like uh, without context it almost looks like a soundcloud rapper i hope that you like this video in some capacity maybe you're inspired by it go out there and try this yourself if you would like to consider subscribing post here every monday wednesday and friday when my life isn't in total shambles um in terms of doing this again in the future maybe with somebody else i would really like to even if it means after halloween and i just go around and like buy a bunch of discount pumpkins that didn't sell and then just film a bunch of these videos because it was super fun so anyways that is all i'm gonna go now hopefully Hopefully I will see you in the next video. All right, bye.